Before we can get into the eight steps of the how-to to being patient, it is important to understand why practicing patience is very necessary on the path of you becoming your best you. So why is being patient important? Being patient is important because you want to live life as the best version of yourself, the one you you always imagined you could become. And there are things you must learn and realize to become that version of yourself. And learning these things and adapting them to your everyday life takes time. Think of practicing patience as an investment. In practice, it's like someone you know and trust telling you they'll give you $1 right now. However, if you let them keep the dollar, they'll give you $10,000 next month. It's basically resisting the temptation of a short-lived immediate gratification to benefit from something many times greater in the long run. So without further ado, and in no particular order of importance, here are the eight steps to being more patient. Step one, make long-term goals, write them down and visualize them thoroughly. Visualize how it feels to live your goal. What does it feel like? Attach that vision to your five senses. Think of where it is, what it looks like, what it feels like to be there. What does being the best you smell like to you? Live it. This will help you have a better idea of where you're going and help you make better everyday decisions. Clearly knowing your long-term goal will help you know what to avoid. It also reminds you not to settle for a less great option, which may present itself much, much sooner than your desired ideal. Visualizing your long-term goals will also help you accept the amount of time that is worth to get there. Step two, write down short-term goals and accomplish them every day. Successful people do successful things. You need to get used to the habit of doing things that help you become your best you. In order to do so, your mind has to believe that it's possible. Succeeding at small things every day will help you understand that you can set things in front of you in a future time and accomplish them, which will better prepare you for bigger, longer term goals. What is a short term goal? Things that could happen within the next few hours or day. Washing a car, cleaning your room, calling that phone company. Make a list and take action every day. Step three, know and remind yourself that there's only one you. No matter what anyone does or thinks, you're the only person with the specific tools to accomplish your goals because you're the only one living this life experience exactly how you're living it and the only one that can understand your path and walk it how you should. Basically, it's acceptance of your situation. We like to think that we've wasted too much time or maybe feel like our situation is so dire that it's impossible that we're going to be able to succeed. But that's not true. Use your situation as the most unique situation and shape it to become your best self. Step four, avoid comparing yourself to others. Your unique situation is your beauty. Everyone has their own problems and their own qualms. They probably want to be someone else too. It's just like the old saying goes, be yourself, everyone else is taken. Life is not a competition for who can be the better version of you. You're the only one that could do it. So accepting this and knowing that things might take time and things are going to end up exactly how they should, if you are working towards that goal, is enough. Be at peace with your specific situation and do not compare yourself to others. Step five, appreciate the small things in life every day. Be thankful for the day because every day is a new opportunity to be great. Appreciating every day helps you become happier with your current life, which will in turn help you appreciate the journey towards your long-term goal. Simple. Step six, think of everything happening as a lesson in becoming the greatest version of yourself. Every misstep, every shortfall, every failure, Every moment of every day is an ingredient necessary in creating the best version of you. If you think of things as bad or negative, you usually don't see the lesson in it. Your attitude determines your latitude, as they say. Accept what is going on and analyze why this is the best time to learn from this specific situation. It's not true that everything happens for a reason. Rather, everything happens and humans create reasons for them. Make this lesson count. Step seven, love yourself at every stage and appreciate that nothing that comes easy can remain. A good foundation is necessary 
for any strong building. And that is only built over time. Love who you are today, no matter what you believe you should be tomorrow. Step eight, be mindful of the things that are making you impatient. When you notice a specific thing or situation is making you impatient, study your reaction to it. Notice how silly it is and laugh at yourself. Take a real deep breath and remember the previous seven steps. So that's it people. Those are the eight steps to follow in the how to to being more patient. Post a comment below to let people know what you do to remain more patient. If you have a friend that needs to be reminded to be more patient, please share this video. Remember to subscribe to this channel and I will see you here next time on Howa Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.